Yes, Rich, Paul, welcome to UniChip Chat. I'm going to jump straight into it because it is a very busy day and we're doing this in the middle of work. The phone rings in the background, sorry. Um, where we left off last time was harnesses. Um, and we're getting a lot of emails coming in saying, Hey Rich, hey Paul, um, how does your harness work? I'm sure most people didn't sound like that, but we had a lot of questions come in. Um, are they straight to sensor? Are they hardwire? What do you mean you plug it into the ECU? All very good questions. Rich is going to go through that, but before he jumps in and shows you our new product, he actually found something when he was digging around the other day that's quite sort of surprising. It's one of our very first Unichip harnesses. It is a straight to sensor. It was for the old 79 series. This only took a Unichip version Q back in the day, which plugged in here. And then from there, as the name suggests, went straight to the sensors. And that's where we picked up our signal and modified it by the Unichip. We've moved leaps and bounds from back then. And um, I do believe Rich is now going to take over from where we where we left off. That's it. So guys, like Paul mentioned, uh, I will talk to you about what our plug and play harnesses are. Um, before I do though, I'm just going to touch base quickly about what a hardwire is. We got asked what is a hardwire. Basically, what it means is we wire in a uni chip, we cut and solder it into your factory harness on your car. We do this when we don't have a plug and play available. Some of the more individual style of cars, something that's not so popular that we don't have a plug and play for, we still have a uni chip available for you. It mostly, most likely will be hardwired to your car. There's nothing wrong with it. It can be as easily removed. It's, uh, it still gives us the exact same tuning capabilities as if it was a plug and play harness. It's just that it's wired, hardwired to your vehicle. Um, it is, like I mentioned, it's still as easily removed. Paul will probably give you a quick brief explanation on bridge plugs, which we'll touch on in more detail later. Yes, so when Rich says why well, he gets that, that um, harness out. Yeah, so basically we've got bridge plugs, unplug the uni chip, plug the, the bridge plugs into the end of this when it has been terminated, and then it effectively goes back to a standard setting. So. Okay, now, continuing on, this here is a plug and play harness. Uh, I will go into detail on how that works shortly. We have a, we have many plug and play harnesses to suit many plug and play vehicles. Uh, the benefit to having a plug and play is no wires are cut because it essentially just plugs into your factory computer. Unichip moved in this direction and away from the straight to sensor harness that we showed you earlier simply because this is more convenient, it's easier, uh, and you basically have to touch less things in order to fit a Unichip to your car. This is the brand new 2017 DBF model Land Cruiser. This is the Land Cruiser computer. So when installed on your car, there'll be two plugs that go to this that are from the factory harness. Basically, those plugs are unplugged. The Unichip harness itself plugs directly into the factory computer, like so. And your factory plug will plug into the Unichip harness. That's basically as simple as it gets. There is obviously the larger plug for the second plug, and that then gives us the ability to install the Unichip to your car using these wires here. Obviously there's the plugs for the Unichip, and then there's the plugs for the injector drivers which we spoke about last video. Okay, the benefits of having a plug and play harness is you don't have to cut any wires as I mentioned. The second big benefit about it is it's easily removed, not necessarily move, removed for any other reason except you're upgrading your car, you're changing over your car. Unichip stands for universal chip. And what that means is this one Unichip being fitted to a Land Cruiser is exactly the same Unichip as I would use if I was tuning your 2017 Ford Ranger or your 2008 Colorado would still be using this same chip. So it's all interchangeable. Once purchased, you change over your car, the only costs associated with upgrading or change would be the purchase of a new loom and a custom tune. That's the benefit. Should you ever just want to return your car to stock, that's it, unplug it, plug the factory sensors back in and the vehicle is returned to stock. Now, as far as the plug and play harnesses go, we have many to suit many different vehicles. Everything from the entire V8 Land Cruiser range are all plug and play, all the Hiluxes, the, um, we have harnesses for Jeeps, we have harnesses for early model 100 series Land Cruisers. We have harnesses now available for the AMG range, including the C63S, which is becoming more and more popular. The, I'll throw back to Paul now. A45. A45. I knew it was on the tip of your tongue. It was That's on the tip it. of his tongue. So the A45, Mitsubishi. 
Um, so all the Triton, um, so the 3.2 litre, 2.5 and the 2.4. So we pretty much yeah, cover all bases as far as plug and play go. Jump on the website down here, www.unichip.com.au. That will direct you to the, uh, to the section where it says uh, basically plug and play or diesel results. You can look it up from there and work out whether it's a plug and play or not. Um, we of course want to touch base and say a massive thank you the emails are coming in. Um, I promised a while ago that I will get back to them. I will get back. Uh, I'm trying my hardest to, to catch up with them. Either Rich and I will give you an answer um, via, via our YouTube channel or I'll personally send you a email reply. Um, secondly, of course, is like, uh, share and comment. That's right. That's what we want. Like, shares and comments. You could get a sick flat peak tap that says, of course, Bayswater Victoria on the back because that's where we are, Bayswater Victoria. Until next time guys, keep the questions coming.